All right, folks, welcome to uh, another mystery beer. This is the second of two mystery beer reviews that you'll see today, unless this is the first one you're watching and you've not watched the previous one. If that's the case, just to cover all bases, I won't make any mention um, of the previous mystery beer that I've done. But who cares? So uh, this is the second, as I said, uh, mystery beers are sent to me or delivered hand delivered with a smile uh, from Adam aka Mersey Beers. Um, I have had them for a little while because I've not really been drinking too much this past month or so. Um, I've, I've actually been quite sensible um, although it's not stopped me from buying beers every now and then. Anyway so uh, I waffled enough in the first video so I will save you the agony of uh, a second waffle, although there will still be waffle, and I've just seen the colours of the can, because um, that piece of tape was doing my head in. But it could mean anything, couldn't it, really? So, yeah, without any further ado, let's get this open and see if I can pinpoint this. Oh, and it's dark. Oh, it gets done. Well, they did a, a Kate Bush Alan Partridge reference then. Oh, but you know, in this day and age, people only know Kate Bush because of Stranger Things, because that's how kids are brought up with no culture. Anyway, so it's a nice dark beer. Sort of like a chestnutty cola looking beer with just shy of three fingers worth of a nice beige looking head looking very nice in the glass so let's see what we get on the nose hmm smells something along the lines of like a, a dunkel or like a dark lager not like a, a schwarz style which is a little bit more roasty and intense this definitely has a sort of like sweet, sweet yet subtly fruity, like those forest fruits, dark fruits. Could even have, you know, on the nose, could it be a Baltic Porter? Could it be a Doppelbock? Could it just be a dark lager, dark Czech lager, or a dark German lager? Yeah, there's definitely a sweet, fruity, yet slightly cakey um, aroma there as well. It smells quite nice, actually. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, the mind is boggling already, so let's give it a taste. Cheers, folks. Cheers, Adam. Oh, that's not what I was expecting it to be. Oh. What a unpleasant surprise that is. Oh, no, I don't like this. Do not like this already. That is so strange. I know that flavour, but I can't, for the life of me, tell you what it is. It smells... Voice went really weird then. It smells beery, but when you taste it... Completely off the mark, I know, but it's almost got like a dark fruit cider-ish sort of flavour to it. Oh, it's very sweet. Very sweet and syrupy tasting. Hmm. Without saying too much about the other mystery beer, just purely based on uh, where it was purchased, could it be a class? 
don't know why I said that in a sort of a German style because Kraft Kraft is Russian, isn't it? Really, it's a rye bread based drink which can be both alcoholic and could also be a soft drink. Oh, I do not like that at all. No, 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 no. But it's too sweet. It's thin and sickly sweet, which is never a good combination. Is it? I don't know what it is. I really don't know. I am really stumped. I want to say it's a, a cider, like a dark fruit cider, but they're usually they're not brown. Dark ciders aren't usually brown. They're like dark, sort of like... I don't know, like cherry purpley colour. I don't know. I don't think it's an alcohol because when when would an alcohol ever give you a head like that? I need to take another sip so I can try and decipher what the fuck this is. But I really don't like drinking this. Unless it's a really sickly sweet dark lager. Or, could it be, you know, sort of like you get Rattlers, but you can also get, like, Cola beers. Hmm. Could it be a Cola beer? That would explain the sweetness. Because there is... Probably because I'm saying it now. There is like a really cheap cola flavour. It's all of a combination. It could be either like really cheap synthetic like roller cola flavour. Or it could be like dark fruit syrups. You know like cherries and berries and stuff like that. Adam you've fucking stunned me because the colour just does not allude to either style that I think it is got a feeling like a 4.3 no 4.3 nobody does 4.3 4.5 4.5 whatever the fuck it is definitely think it's something from you know the, the Baltics that part of the world I don't like saying Eastern European because it's it, it to me I know it people probably don't even think it but when I say Eastern European it sounds like I'm being derogatory and I don't like doing that but it is something that you'd imagine finding in one of those sorts of shops which by the way Polish crisps Rob from Oxygen will attest to this best crisps especially the Polish version of Lay's uh, which I know is basically walkers, but the texture's better, and it's even better. I mean, mind you, you get like stuff like crumb chips in both Germany and uh, those sorts of countries. Crumb chips are really nice as well, especially the paprika flavour. Paprika flavour, every country aside from the UK does good paprika flavoured crisps. Now I really want to get it back, but I think the shop's closed. Which is a real shame. Just could do with like just a nice big bag of Lay's paprika. Oh, this is awful though. By the way, absolutely awful. I don't know what it is. It's it's case in my head, and it's it's very fruity tasting, very synthetic fruity. I don't think it's a cola mix sort of thing. Do I think it's a cider though? No, not really. It's definitely not English, not American. Other countries and regions and parts of the world are available, of course. I am gonna say it's Eastern European. Don't like saying that term, but I've just said it. 4.5% ABV, whatever it is. Yeah, this is an instant fail, and uh, oh, 
there's still some there. I'm just going to pour it all in so I can pour it all out uh, once I've finished. It was starting off so well because uh, it looks really nice. But hey ho, it is what it is. So without any further ado, we'll make sure I've got the can on screen nicely. We'll close our eyes. Open it up. Let you guys see what it is. Fuck off, that's not a stout. 2%? What the fuck is that? Younger of a lower sweetheart stout. 2% ABV. No, your limits yet. Don't fucking touch this. No way. It's brewed by tenants. Brewed by tenant Caledonian breweries at tenants. Well, part brewery, Glasgow. Oh my god. Customer care line. Yeah, I need a care line. Because of. What the fuck is that, really? I've never even seen this before, and it looks like it's something that's been around for absolutely ages. It literally looks like a can um, from about the mid-90s. I would never have said stout. That is one of the sweetest stouts I've ever had. Even like sweeter than like a really adjunct riddled pastry stout. Fucking hell, I would never. I'm completely, completely off the mark on so many levels with this. I'm almost annoyed by this, by the fact that this exists. I mean, who's the woman? Who's the woman on the can? Imagine you didn't tenants lager used to have like a, a photo of a woman on it. Is that the tenants woman? Yeah, how retro does that look though? Obviously, aside from the drink aware stuff on there and the the websites. Nah, Adam, that that's what a genius move by uh, Adam. Absolute genius move. The more the more I'm looking at it, the more I really like the can design on this. But yeah, that, that looks it looks like this can was found in someone's house from God knows when. Obviously because cans used to be they didn't have this sort sort of protrusion, did they? They had like the they went straight up. Do you know what I mean? Like old old beer cans. Which I could imagine this looking at, but sweetheart stout, no way. That is not a stout. Mm. Fuck it out, that's that is foul. It's it's not good. It's really not good at all. But Adam, I I think this is quite possibly the best mystery beer that you've ever sent to me. Younger of a lower. Is that, is that her? Is she the sweetheart stout? Like, if that was a real person on, let's say, Tinder, what would she look like? She'd probably have a lazy eye like me. She'd have purple hair. Um, but no, nah, that's, that's just wrong. It's just wrong, but it's genius. It's frustrated me. It's disgusted me, but I love it all the less. That tastes more along the lines of like um, a tonic wine than a stout. There's nothing stoutish about this at all. And that's probably the worst fail. That's worse than me calling a lager thinking it was a wild beer. Because there's just no redeemable factor about me trying to guess this. And um, it's a trick. It's a dirty trick. And um, I respect Adam even more for this than I already do. But I'm not drinking the rest of that because it's fucking wank. And 
2% ABV. The mind boggles, the mind boggles. When they came up with that recipe. But hey ho, that's the, the beauty of Mersey. Well, that is the beauty of Mersey beers. He manages to somehow find these weird and wonderful, uh, really inexpensive beers on his travels. And that's the beauty of uh, the mystery beer, because you are, you literally don't know what you're going to get. It's great when you guess it right, um, but it's even better when you get it completely wrong. And uh, yeah, so that's, that concludes the duo of mystery beers that will be uploaded today. Hopefully I upload them in the right order. That would be, that would be good. We'll do it on a Monday as well, so there's some symmetry. Um, because the world needs more symmetry and positive energy and blah 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 new age bullshit and uh, yeah so um, thanks Adam it got me good that time I can still taste it it's fucking awful um, really really is I'd be interested to, to hear your thoughts on this if anybody's drank this and said it's a good beer um, I'd really like to hear what your defence uh, the not to come across like uh, Simon Jordan, but um, I'd love to hear someone defend this monstrosity that is some, somewhat beautiful um, in the worst possible sense. Anyway, cheers for watching folks, take care, stay safe, and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.